I know the book. I haven't, I haven't read it. No, no, but you no, know no, the book. And I tried to, to write a couple of robots uh, as they were uh, um, uh, 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 retelling uh, their own stories since the beginning. I'm a writer, of course, and I'm a that's, ter that's absolutely wonderful. That's exactly the kind of work I do. Only I've used Darwin. Uh, yeah. And I've used Darwin text. Yeah. That's very exciting. Darwin text? You mean you follow uh, the, the Darwin researchers? Uh, yeah. How beautiful. Um, the anal clip and the dog clip, which I understand you cannot play, are two excerpts from a, a, a film in progress originating out of the Artificial Intelligence Laboratory in Zurich, Switzerland, where I was an artist in residence. And the project is called Archipelago.com. CH, which is very ironic because the idea of an archipelago or Galapagos in Switzerland is pretty funny. But um, the reason it evolved that way in my project was that as I was a resident in the lab and I saw each researcher developing a very idiosyncratic robot of their own uh, based on a morphology and nature that they sort of fell in love with, meaning one was developing a robot that um, emulated an insect eye and how an insect eye works. One was investigating um, quadrupeds, you know, four-legged, how four-legged things move. Another one was investigating um, just the motion of human hand. Um, another one was really terrific. It was a uh, fish. And uh, the hat fish made of rubber bands and balloons and uh, balsa wood, which were in the immersing water and then given an electric charge to examine oscillations. All of these experiments had, of course, applications. Um, the A mouse, for instance, had, uh, was a metal robot, but it has whiskers, real, real rat whisker, whiskers, and they're teaching that robot to recognize textures through touch of the whiskers um, to study haptic responses. So when I saw that in each laboratory, um, it was developing their own little creature, the, the whole lab to me became like a Galapagos, uh, a series of islands, i.e. labs, where um, creatures were evolving uh, very radically to that lab and that researcher. And when I reread chapter 17, of the Voyage of the Beagle, um, Darwin's book, um, it was amazing how the text fit each creature. He does discover a mouse on one lot island. He discovers a certain kind of dog on another island. And his whole text was a perfect fit for, for the work of him on the artificial intelligence lab, which was wonderful because he is his writing is so beautiful, you know, and so he, he examines everything so empirically, but he, he, he's obviously so moved by what he's seeing. And, um, and so I, I did add some